अगेन हम मेरे से सुप्रभात गुड मॉर्निंग एंड जय भारत वी आर सेलिब्रेटिंग इंडिया गणतंत्र दिवस विच इज इंडिया सेवेंटी फिफ्थ रिपब्लिक डे दिस डे कोमरेट दैट द अडॉप्शन ऑफ द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन ऑफ इंडिया ऑन जनवरी ट्वेंटी सिक्स नाइनटीन फिफ्टी आफ्टर दिस इंडिया बिकम ए सोवरेन स्टेट डिक्लेरिंग इट ए रिपब्लिक लेट्स नॉट फॉरगेट द रिच हेरिटेज ऑफ आवर कंट्री एंड फील प्राउड टू बी पार्ट ऑफ दिस नेशन I am going to sing two lines from freedom fighter Subhash Chandra Bose and Bhagat Singh. Sir Faroz ki tamanna ab hamare dil mein hai. Sir Faroz ki tamanna ab hamare dil mein hai. Dekhna hai zor kitna baazu e kaatir hai. Dekhna hai zor kitna baazu e kaati mein hai. Thank you. Now I think. Uh, our cultural secretary ambuja will start the program today we have with us squadron leader pushpak godbole whom i invite to hoist the flag for today's march please squadron leader pushpak god bole thank you sir he has been a part of athashree for the past 5 years and he hails from a family of pilots with father and brother being in air force and uncles and nephews and nieces being pilots after training at the national defense academy khadakwasla pune he completed his flying training and was commissioned as a fighter pilot in the indian air force during the 1971 bangladesh war he was flying the hunter aircraft although a fighter pilot he converted on to helicopters since there was a requirement of experienced pilots to fly at high altitudes squadron leader godbole was a pioneer in helicopter operations when siachen glacier operations commenced in ladakh area in 1984 later as a flying instructor he trained pilots on the jet aircraft and so also the helicopters mr godbole subsequently opted for premature voluntary retirement at the age of 40 however he continues his passion for flying in the corporate sector and he flew helicopters with bg shirke company bajaj auto kirloskar and kalyani group of companies pune he had the opportunity to fly a number of industrialists and politicians and vips from various other fields his wife anjali a qualified architect from jj college of architecture mumbai has been a pillar of support for mr godbole she has accompanied her husband with their three children in strife ridden jammu kashmir and high altitudes in ladakh with all three children being settled abroad anjali and pushpak have made athashree their permanent abode we would now like to hear from him some of his experiences of a long aviation career over to squadron leader pushpak god bole celebrating our 75th republic day the republic day parade in new delhi indeed is very impressive and showcases the diversity of india's rich cultural heritage the parades are also a spectacle of india's military might the celebrations instill a sense of patriotism pride and national unity among citizens and it also pays tributes to countless freedom fighters who sacrificed their lives <coughs> to secure india's independence 
the defense forces of our army, navy, and air force are guarding our borders, the seas, and our airspace. As a soldier and a pilot, I thought of sharing my experiences. Fighter flying, the hunter and the mate was indeed demanding. Fighter aircraft always flew in pairs of more than two at a time. Formation flying of four to sixteen aircraft with one wingspan distance from each other in various shapes for fly pass and showmanship. The fighter aircraft being a fighting machine, one had also to learn the usage of weapons on board. Teaching trainee pilots the basics of flying was also testing. However, let me tell you that I also consider helicopter flying on Siachen as most challenging. In 1984, I flew the Alouette helicopter which was called the Cheetah. We were operating from Lay Airfield to fly to base camp and then to Siachen Glacier. Our troops are occupying various locations on the glacier with the Pakistani troops right across them. Incidentally, the operations continue even today and it is considered the highest battlefield in the world. For the first time as a pilot, I was interacting with our troops and it was indeed very purposeful and satisfying experience. A French test pilot had visited us in 1984 to see how we were utilizing their helicopter on the Siachu. On landing at Leh, he inspected the helicopter thoroughly and asked me as to which all places we fly. I pointed to Khardumla Pass and told him that we cross it at 19,500 feet and then on to the glacier to land at places between 16 to 19,000 feet. He seemed shocked and stated, well gentlemen, when this helicopter is designed to fly at high altitude, doesn't mean that you fly it as a routine. And what do you think you are flying? Suicide missions. Even maintenance on the helicopter was tough. In winters, hot air blowers were used to warm the surface of the helicopter so that technicians could work on the helicopter with their bare hands. Luckily for me, during my two and a half years of flight, there was not a single untoward incident on the helicopter. The job of helicopters was to air maintain the troops on the glacier, that is, provide them with all the supplies needed for them at their posts. The troops had a three-month tenure on the glacier. But let me tell you, a human being is not meant to stay for long duration at those heights in adverse weather conditions and lack of oxygen. On top of it, they were fighting an enemy and there was regular exchange of fire. The landing ground on the glacier was mostly temporary helipads with beaten up snow. In winters, with snow cover and most of the places, the pilots could not get the depth perception as a result, they flew into soft snow. Many times the helicopter encountered adverse winds resulting in loss of direction and toppling of the helicopter. Luckily, there was no loss of life. Most of the times, the troops were fighting nature and evacuation of injured due to illness was common. The pilots too suffered from chill blains due to so cold breeze in the helicopter which had no air conditioning. Let me tell you that every soldier from the fighting arm would have numerous experiences to narrate. As a veteran and a soldier, and I amongst us survived the tough conditions, but there are many of them who have sacrificed their lives and we need to remember them. I can say with confidence that today our defense forces are much stronger and technologically advanced. And with the right political will and direction, the soldier will always stand tall. Thank you and Jai Hind. Thank you, sir. Now, our Thashri C members would like to present to you a 
patriotic song in Marathi. Ready? Are you ready? Yes. Ready? Ka? Yes. Oh. उजड़ित शत किरणा उजड़ित जन हृदया न भात आला रे प्रभात रवि उदया मीरा चीर जी रे देवी लया उजड़ित शत किरणा उजड़ित जन हृदया न भात आला रे प्रभात रवि उदया मीरा चीर जी रे देवी लया उजड़ित शत किरणा तरकती चंचल जल लहरी नटनी सजली वसुंधरा मधुमय मंगल स्वर लहरी चढ़ल्या बिड़ल्या दिगंतरा दिन 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 ता दिन 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 ता दुन दो मुईचा नादा संगे अम्बराचा मंदी रात मंद वादे सनई जे जे बोला जे जे बोला कोटी कोटी कंठानी भारताचा भविशाचा पाहाटेचा समई संपरी शर्वरी हारवी अंबरी संपरी शर्वरी हारवी या अंबरी उजड़ित शत किरणा उजड़ित जन हृदया न भात आला रे प्रभात रवि उदया चीर रे देवी लया उजड़ित शत किरणा चल करी वंदन नव युवका गगनी बिल से नारवी तुझ सी न बंधन जरी पथिका दिसली तुझला दिशा नवी दीड दीड तारा दीड दीड तारा प्राण आता शंकर तारुण्याच्या सामर्थ्याला कारुण्याची साथ दे या भूमीला आकाशाचे आशीर्वाद लाभावे पौरुषाला विक्रमाचे वैभवाचे हात दे प्रार्थना कामना उजड़ित शत किरणा उजड़ित जन हृदया न भात आला रे प्रभात रवि उदया मीरा चीर जनी रे उदयित शत किरणा भारत पता की वर्णन के आता हे एक स्फूर्ति
सोने की चिड़िया करती है बसेरा वो भारत देश है मेरा वो भारत देश है मेरा सत्य अहिंसा और धर्म का पग पग लगता डेरा वो भारत देश है मेरा वो भारत देश है मेरा जय भारती जय भारती जय भारती जय भारती और राधा कई कबाला जहाँ सूरज सबसे पहले आकर आले अपना मेरा वो भारत देश है मेरा वो भारत देश है मेरा गंगा जमुना कृष्णा और कावेरी बहती जाए कर दक्षिण पूर्व पश्चिम ओ अमृत पिलवाए ये अमृत पिलवाए यही जल जल फल और फूल उगाए केसर कहीं बिखेरा वो भारत देश है मेरा वो भारत देश है मेरा और हंसी खुशी का चारों ओर है गेरा वो भारत देश है मेरा वो भारत देश है मेरा जहाँ आसमान से बातें करते मंदिर और शिवाले नगर में किसी द्वार पर कोई नकाला डाले 
कोई न ताला डाले और प्रेम की बंसी जहाँ बचाता आए शाम सवेरा वो भारत देश है मेरा वो भारत देश है मेरा जहाँ सत्य अहिंसा और धर्म का पग पालक ना डेरा वो भारत देश है मेरा वो भारत देश है मेरा जय भारत जय भारत जय भारत जय भारत आज मैं सबके सामने मेरी एक हिंदी काव्य रचना पेश कर रही हूँ कविता का शीर्षक है झंडा ऊंचा रहे जगत में आज भारत का झंडा सब जगत में ऊंचा लहरा रहा है और इस बात का हम सब भारतीयों को गर्व है स्वाभिमान है आनंद है हम सब भारतीयों के दिल में भारत के प्रति जो लगाव है लगन है प्यार है भक्ति है उसको मैंने इस कविता में लिखने की कोशिश की है मैं मराठी भाषी हूँ मेरी हिंदी उतनी अच्छी नहीं है फिर भी इस प्रजासत्ताक दिन के अवसर पर राष्ट्रभाषा हिंदी में कविता लिखने का मैंने प्रयास किया है आइए सुनते हैं झंडा ऊंचा रहे जगत में पुरातन भारत पुरातन भारत सनातन भारत ज्ञान सत्ता आनंद भारत भारत शुभ संस्कार पुरातन भारत सनातन भारत ज्ञान सत्ता आनंद भारत भारत शुभ संस्कार पौराणिक भारत शान तेरा मेरा सबका भारत भारत सबकी शान वसुधैव कुटुंबकम यही है भारत की ललकार दुष्ट कोई देख न पाए भारत की ओर एक बार दुष्ट कोई देख न पाए भारत की ओर एक बार दुष्ट कोई देख न पाए भारत की ओर एक बार हो संघटित रहे सुरक्षित करे हर भारतीय पुकार हमेशा आगे बढ़ता जाए हमेशा आगे बढ़ता जाए नभ में चांद साचम काए हमेशा आगे बढ़ता जाए नभ में चांद साचम काए भारत विरोम को वंदन कर भारत विरोम को वंदन कर सब जगत है मेहरबान योग याग तपस साधना योग याग तपस साधना भारतीयों की यही विशेषता योग याग तपस साधना भारतीयों की यही विशेषता घर गृहस्थी और तंत्र ज्ञान में घर गृहस्थी और तंत्र ज्ञान में भारत का है नाम उजियारा हम सब भारत के सेवक हम सब भारत के सेवक मातृभूमि के सच्चे नायक हम सब भारत के सेवक मातृभूमि के सच्चे नायक कर्म करेंगे उसके हित में कर्म करेंगे उसके हित में झंडा ऊंचा रहे जगत में झंडा ऊंचा रहे जगत में झंडा ऊंचा रहे जगत में धन्यवाद जय हिंद जय महाराष्ट्र मस्त मस्त हे ना बर्गे सरांना द्यायचं That was really wonderful, Jayashree. It was definitely better than my Marathi, your Hindi. <laughs> uh, 
uh, at the outset let me thank mr pushpa godbole and anjali godbole for having accepted our invitation and having graced the occasion today let me also thank all the veterans in different fields army navy and air force it's indeed a long list and i felt really proud that we are associated with them in athashri we are really proud when i saw the long list of veterans here and veterans in other fields like mr pramod kale we are really grateful to you to having raised this occasion all singers including kavita made by jayashri a big thank you to all of you the singers of athashri b and c for having given us such a you know melodious song next comes our resident manager mr santosh wable who has been always helping me to coordinate these events athashri b cultural committee especially neela vaidya i would like to thank neela vaidya for having helped me in each and every step of organizing the event and no doubt nothing can work here without the reception staff we cannot move anything without their help and i thank both b and c the entire staff reception staff thank you a lot now i request all the audience uh, yes mr vijay pande yes i had written i'm sorry <laughs> mr vijay pande for having helped us with the music system early in the morning he came and uh, you know he made all the arrangements the for the music system thanks vijay uh, anyone left out and thank you all for having raised the occasion today and i request all of you to please accept pedas which will be distributed here thank you all thank you ambuja organizing this nice event okay always welcome